Hey everybody, welcome back. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to import and organize our images using PhotoRAW 2025. Now, one of the great things about on one PhotoRAW is you don't actually have to import your images to modify them, but from time to time, we do want to import images from SD cards or external hard drives so that we can put them in specific folders or move them around. So let's import from a device. I'm just gonna go up to the top menu here. I'm gonna choose File and I'm gonna choose Import from Device. So in this Import from Device dialog here, let's just first start by using the source menu to find a specific source to import from. So I'm gonna open this up here. I'm gonna choose a specific folder. I'll go to my SD card that I have plugged in here and I'll go to this specific folder. Let's just use this one and I'll choose Open actually wrong folder there. This is a food shoot from a while ago. Let's choose a, a different folder here. And I'll go back to that SD card and I'll use this Fuji one, 127 Fuji. So we'll open that up. There we go. So now we have some photos of my dogs here. So once you've found your specific source, this section right below it is going to be the gallery of all of the images that live within that specific folder or device. Now, one thing that I like to do in the import from de device dialog is I like to choose check none, and then I can go in and choose specific images by clicking on their check mark. But if you want all of these images to be selected, you could just choose check all. So I'm just going to choose check none and I'll just select a few here. Nothing too crazy. We'll just grab some of these raw image files. And I know there's a couple of Roma as well. So let me get my, my doggo Roma in there. Oh, maybe I don't have any Roma. That's okay. So I'll just choose maybe a couple down here as well. Just like that. So I have 10 images selected. Now on the right-hand side, this is where we're going to choose the destination, what specific folder we want these to be placed into. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm just gonna choose a specific location. I'll just go into that folder I created. It was getting started in PhotoRAW 2025 and I'll just rename this Doggo. I'll open that up. And then we can rename the image into a specific name sequence. I'm just gonna rename this Bentley. And then I'll add a token and I'll use a sequence for the images. Below that we have metadata, so we can add in specific metadata as needed. I'm gonna add in metadata and I'm just gonna use some keywords here. I'll just name this dog, backyard, and summer. Now we can also add in specific photo settings if we'd like to. So we can choose this here and we can add in specific presets that we've created and it will apply those presets to the image or that preset specifically to the image. And then we have edit capture date, which we can use to modify the capture date of these images. But I'm just gonna leave photo settings and edit capture date alone. And I'm just gonna make sure it's renamed correctly and that I have that metadata in there. So once I choose import, it's going to take me into that folder. You can see I'm within that folder doggo and it's imported those images into that specific folder. So now that we've imported this group of images, let's just organize these images a bit by flagging them with a one through five rating. Now, one thing I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna make the thumbnail size a little bit smaller, which I can do down here at the bottom. And so let's just go in here and I'm gonna grab this first photograph and then I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard. The reason I wanna hit F on my keyboard is that's going to pull up my film strip view mode. In my film strip view mode, it allows me to view all of the images within that folder down here at the bottom, while also showing me a detailed view of the photograph that I have selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a one and a five rating, and I can just do that on the, the keys on my keyboard to rate through these images. Now, a really awesome tool that I like to use whenever I'm rating this way is I like to go up and I'll choose photo 
and then I can enable auto advance. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to use the one or five key on my keyboard. And then once I select a rating, we'll just say this is a five star, it will automatically advance me to the next photograph in the series. And let's say this is a one. He's not really looking. It's kind of an awkward photo. So we'll use a one there. I like that one's a five, one, one. This one's okay. We'll do it a five, maybe a one, five, and then maybe a one and then a five. And so I've used just a one or five on my keyboard to rate these images, one being a dislike and then five being I like the image. And it was really easy to go through all of those images with that auto advance option enabled. Now, another thing that's really helpful when you're browsing through images and you're rating them is you can use compare view mode. So let's say I have a series of images that are very similar. For example, these three images. I can select these three images here and I can hit C on my keyboard and that's gonna pull up my compare view mode. I can also modify my view modes by going over to this menu here on the bottom left and I can open up the different view modes. Now, once I'm inside of the compare view mode, it will show me these different images. And one thing that I like to do is I'll choose lock pan and zoom so that if I zoom in, it will lock the zoom and then I can pan around to view which image works best for what I'm going for. Now for me, I think I really like this left one the best and I'll actually go and I'll take back that five star rating for this right one here by just clicking on the star. So now that last, the last two images here, this one and that one are now a one star rating and I've given this one the best rating, five stars. So let's go back into our grid view mode now that we've flagged these different images and we've rated them. And I'm gonna organize these a bit by going up to my top bar here. I'm gonna choose this little icon. This is going to allow me to sort the images. I'm gonna choose rating and then I'm going to choose descending. That way I have all of my five star images at the top and then I have all of my one star images at the bottom. So I can grab the images that are one star rated. I'll right click and I'm gonna choose add subfolder and I'll just name this dislikes and I'll move those selected items into that subfolder. And then I can keep these just out in the open as they are or I can right click, I can add a subfolder and I'll name this favorites. So now I've organized these images into two different folders, my favorites and my dislikes. So I can navigate into them really easily and I can find the ones that I think are the best right away. So now that we've organized these images a bit, let's create a album for my doggo here. To view the albums, I'm just gonna roll up my Macintosh HD hard drive here, and the albums live in this section here, albums. To create an album, all we have to do is use this plus icon. I'll just rename this dogs. And I'm going to disable set target album. We'll talk a bit more about target albums later on in the new features lesson. But for now, I'm just going to create this album for dogs and I'll choose okay. So we now have this album dogs here and to add images into that dogs album, I can just grab the images that I want and I can click and drag them into dogs. So now if I've navigated away, let's say I've navigated into a different album or a different section on my computer and I need to quickly navigate into those photographs of my dog, I can just head over to my albums here, click dogs and there's those photographs right there. So that's how to import images and organize them a bit. Remember, it's really easy to organize by using your film strip view mode and that auto advance feature. And I typically like to just use a one or five star rating, but you can use one through five and you can also use different color ratings or like or dislike the image. Join me in the next lesson where we learn about the new features inside of On One Photo Raw 2025.